Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble the regulator on the Azoden Blitz 2011. I'm going to do this without removing the macro line hose right here, uh, just because we're concerned about this and not anything around here. And I'm going to do this with using the tools that come with the Azoden Blitz in the package, so if you still have that pack, this should be all you need. First you're going to take out the adjustment screw here at the bottom of the regulator with the biggest Allen key that they give you. Alright, and then now if you flip it over, what we have is this set screw that's in that little hole right there. Alright, now once we have that out, we take the regulator end cap right here and just untwist. that out. And then that'll release the adjustable collar, swivel collar here, and then this is easy enough, this top housing here, you just unscrew it. Just like that. Now, what's inside here is the regulator spring and the regulator uh, piston. Now sometimes the piston doesn't come out so easily so you just take your allen key and poke it in the top here and then that pops right out. There you go. Now there's an o-ring on here so make sure you take this part and oil it some, with some lube and whatnot. Now here in the end cap we have the seat sealer in here and that's right down in there so on the top we're just going to take an allen key and poke it out and it'll just fall right out right here now once again there's a there's an o-ring on the bottom of this um, so make sure you keep that looped up now while this is apart uh, I want to show you something I know I'm a little shadowy here but um, on this end cap Right in here, right in this hole, there was an o-ring that busted on my end. That's why I was looking for videos on how to disassemble this. Unfortunately, that o-ring doesn't come with the o-ring pack that comes along with the marker. But I called up Azodin, and people have told me how good customer service has been with Azodin Blitz, or with Azodin as a company. And I found that to be very true. I called them. I, I told them what my problem was. They knew exactly what it was. This busted O-ring inside here. And they shipped me a new O-ring free of charge all the way from California here in Florida. So that was very awesome of them. And it's a booger to get out. And it's tough to put in. But in the end, it was, uh, you know, once it was done, that's exactly what the issue was. So if you're having problems leaking, um, like with the housing right here, if 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 the thing leaks and above it with this hole here, let me focus. This hole right here, if it leaks out there, then this is your problem. Is that O-ring is busted? There's another hole at the bottom of this end cap. If that leaks, then it's another issue. Call up Azodin. If you don't have an O-ring already, they'll send you one. And that's awesome. Okay, so now this all we're going to do is just put it back together. Make sure you lube it up with your favorite lube, whatever you want to use. So i got the piston put in the spring. Screw this on. Take the collar here and your end cap and just twist it in. Now 
Now here we're not we're not going to tie it too tight because we want this collar to move and we also want the hole for our set screw to line up. So let's look at that. Our set screw. Let's see, it went too far. Right there. So we're gonna take our set screw. Really itty bitty tiny, tiny screw. Tie that up. See, so that's tight, but yeah, this is still movable. It's a great adjustment. Then all we gotta do is our adjustment screw at the bottom. Get started with my hand. Then we'll take our big Allen key and put this down. Now what I like to do after I tighten the adjustment screw, I like to tighten it all the way down and then I back it out uh, just about about two, two, uh, two and a half to three turns. You may want to hold this because it can unscrew from here. There you go. One, two, three, ish, somewhere around there. And uh, then I'm always going to go to the field and chronograph it once I mess around with things like this to make sure it's got the right velocity and whatnot. Yeah, so that's the disassembly and the reassembly of the regulator on the 2011 Azoden Blitz. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I shot you. <laughs>